Kenyan writer Ngugi wrote a postcolonial novel, A Grain of Wheat, to explore the impact of colonialism on Kenyan people. The setting of the novel is based on the period leading up to Kenya's independence in 1963. Thus, the novel portrays the effects of colonialism on the colonized nation. Colonialism is one of the main themes in A Grain of Wheat. The writer tells the story of those people who were exploited by British colonists. The oppressed people of Kenya had very little to do against exploiting resources and exploiting labor, poverty and deprivation. Colonialism does not only snatch the right of living freely, but also changes the identity of a nation. The protagonist of the novel Mugo struggles with a sense of guilt and shame because of the complicity in the colonial system. He was being taught that the colonists were superior to him. What is post-colonial literature? European powers colonized many other countries besides Africa. Thus, the authors from colonized countries wrote about the effect of colonialism on their people. All those works that talk about the impact of colonialism fall in the category of postcolonial literature. Colonialism in Africa The period between the late 19th and mid-20th centuries is the period of European colonization in the African continent. The apparent purpose of colonialism was to make reformations, but the real aim was to claim territories and resources. African postcolonial literature proves that African resources, land minerals and labor were being exploited. A Grain of Wheat as a Postcolonial Novel The writer Ngugi mainly focuses on the psychological condition of people. Thus, he highlights the psychological impact of colonialism on the Kenyan people. Many characters struggle with a sense of inferiority and loss of identity. However, ultimately most characters deny the superiority of colonists. There are many events that prove the equal contribution of freedom fighters in freeing Kenya. Before quoting examples from the book, let us first know about the Mau Mau movement. The Mau Mau movement. The movement took place in Kenya between 1952 and 1960. It was the period when the Kikuyu ethnic group launched an armed rebellion against British colonial rule. The Mau Mau movement emerged as a response to British colonialism. It contributed to ending the injustices suffered by the Kenyan people under colonial rule. Kikuyu people were the most oppressed people by colonialism. Their only goal was to end British rule. Nevertheless, the British authorities did not sit quietly to witness the rebelliousness. They responded with a brutal crackdown against them. The authorities used force, tortured the rebellions and detained them. In fact, they made all-out efforts to quell the rebellion. Role of characters in post-colonialism All the characters in the novel play their roles to demonstrate this significant theme. The writer uses them to give voice to the people of Kenya. Role of Mugo The significant role of Mugo is mentionable in respect of exploring the theme of colonialism. He betrays his friend Kihika. His guilt is a symbol of inferiority and powerlessness in Kenyans. Mugo remains in isolation. His alienation reflects the negative feelings of Kenyan society. It is the result of colonialism. It also symbolizes that the Kenyan people were put against each other in the struggle for power and survival. Ultimately, Mugo finalizes the decision of participating in the Mau Mau uprising. It is a rejection of bending knees in front of colonialism in clear words. Role of Gikonyo and Mumbai The writer uses Gikonyo's character for portraying the theme of betrayal and loss. But this theme is also related to colonialism. His wife Mumbai accepts the change and colonial rule, but he is unable to do so. Thus, his wife Mumbai marries Karanja. Mumbai represents those people who accept change whereas Gikonyo represents those who resisted it. But the writer proves that the accepted change was not as good as imagined when Mumbai returns to Gikonyo. Gikonyo remains in detention for years. The writer uses him as a symbol that the authorities used to use brutal tactics to maintain their control over people. He suffers physically and emotionally for six years. His scars are evidence that violence was there during colonial rule. 
Despite the suffering, Gikonyo does not give up showing resistance. He remains determined to rebuild his life after his release from detention. It symbolizes hope and optimism. It also shows the strength of the Kenyan people that they use against colonial oppression. Gikonyo eventually reconciles with Mumbai. It is a symbol which the writer uses to show unity among people. Role of Kihika Kihika is a leader. He encourages people to join the Mau Mau rebellion movement. He is a symbol of hope and determination. The colonial forces capture, torture and eventually execute him. It shows the violence and repression of the British to maintain control over Kenya. He willingly gives his life for the cause of independence and the determination to resist colonial oppression. Kahika's death is a symbol of sacrifice. Role of Karanja The writer uses Karanja's character to demonstrate the tactic of divide and rule used by British authorities. In this way, they tried to gain control over the Kenyan people. His betrayal is a symbol that those who collaborated with the colonial authorities gained tenuous positions. In the end, the colonial authorities abandon and betray Karanja. In this way, he falls from grace. The character also symbolizes the fleeting nature of power. Role of General R. General R uses violence to suppress the Mau Mau rebellion. By doing so, he maintains control over Kenya. He is a ruthless figure. He enjoys inflicting pain on his prisoners. He not only symbolizes cruelty, but also inhumanity. Role of Muthoni and Mrs. Mugo Muthoni's decision to sacrifice herself rather than betray the Mau Mau rebellion is an example that Kenyan women played an equal role against colonial oppression. Her character also demonstrates discrimination between genders under colonial rule. Mrs. Mugo struggles to support her family and maintains her dignity in the face of economic hardship. Her character represents the ways in which the Mau Mau rebellion challenged traditional gender roles and empowered women to resist colonial oppression. She also participates in the rebellion. She refuses to be intimidated by the violence and brutality of the colonial authorities. Thus, she serves as a powerful symbol of the ways in which colonialism and the Mau Mau rebellion impacted the lives of ordinary Kenyan women. Conclusion In a nutshell, Ngugi W.A. wrote the post-colonial novel, A Grain of Wheat, with the setting of the period of British colonialism. It contains all the events leading up to Kenya's independence. The novel shows the pre-colonial period, the period of post-colonialism, and ultimately the challenges that the nation faces after colonialism. The novel is written from the perspective of a colonized country, therefore, it only talks about the drawbacks of colonialism.